You're invited to a 1920s theme party and you have no idea how to dress? I'll tell you which mistakes to avoid and how to find a decent outfit, even on a budget. Some of you might have noticed that I already covered this topic three years ago. It was one of my first YouTube videos and hence the quality. Consider this a 2.0 version. Let's get to it. First, I want you to avoid the biggest mistakes and reassess your expectations. In my experience, most menswear outfits on a Gatsby or a 1920s party can be put into two categories. A, the low effort guy, not to be confused with the low budget, by the way. This guy already has suit trousers and a white shirt, so he just gets clip-on braces and a ready tied bow tie, which looks more like a propeller than a bow tie. Sometimes he also wears a flat cap and white sneakers, which makes it even worse. It's not just historically wrong, it looks bad and you can see the ignorance for the theme. If you don't want to make the effort, don't go to the party. And then there's B, the costume jester, that thinks he is just hilarious, but really isn't. This fool bought a cheap costume and now looks like a caricature. And cheap. It's not funny. It's ridiculous. Don't be one of those guys. Here are some ideas on how to make it better. The obvious choice is proper evening wear. Just borrow a dinner suit or a tailcoat and wear black tie or white tie respectively. Of course it would be a modern dinner jacket or a modern tailcoat, but at least they are of decent quality and historically the appropriate attire for an evening event. Just do it right. Proper black tie means black dinner jacket, black trousers with a galon, black bow tie, white dress shirt and either black waistcoat or black cummerbund. You don't even need one of those fancy wing colors or ruffled shirts. A white dress shirt is fine. Proper white tie is a bit more difficult but doable. Black tailcoat, white waistcoat, white bow tie, a white shirt including a stiff front and a wing collar. People that go to a 1920s theme party will know and probably love the Peaky Blinders. So why not dress as one? For a Peaky Blinder outfit on a budget you just need a dress shirt, ideally a light blue shirt with a white collar which is called Winchester, or a shirt with a round club collar. Then you need trousers and a waistcoat. Pick something with an interesting and dark fabric. Flannel, chalk stripes, herringbone, something like that. You need leather shoes or ideally boots and finally you need a dark Baker Boy cap. Not a flat cap, a baker boy cap. That's all and can be obtained cheaply at a thrift store. If you feel too classy for a Peaky Blinder, go for the Prohibition Mobster. You need a dark three-piece suit with chalk stripes. Hard to find, but certainly reusable. Meanwhile, you should definitely subscribe to my channel. It's free for you, but helps me a lot. Now you ask yourself, is a striped three-piece suit really enough for a Gatsby party? And that depends on the party standards, but you certainly can up your game, whether it's the evening wear option, the Peaky Blinder or the Gangster. You can accessorize. You can add a collar pin, you can add a pocket watch, you can add a boutonniere, you can wear a club collar, and if you wear a tailcoat, you can add a monocle. However, do not wear a hat inside. You might even have one that fits the occasion. But a hat in a closed room in the 1920s is a faux pas. You just don't do it. And wearing it on the way to the venue is usually not worth the effort. Trust me. Baker Boy caps with a Peaky Blinders outfit are okay though, because you're representing a peasant without manners in this case. If you want to up your game even further, check my outfit and tailoring videos on the topic. In particular, I made a 1920s lookbook video and one about making a Peaky Blinders suit but also one about just sewing a cap or altering a dress shirt to take detachable collars. And then there is a tailoring book I made with my bespoke tailor about sewing 1920 menswear. You might even be able to buy one of the last printed books. Or you just get the ebook, which is also cheaper. Alright, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe. Free for you, good for me. Have fun at the party. See you next time.